foster dad to forever dad. A single man has fostered 36 kids, adopted a teenager, and recently adopted two siblings. Wow, wow. WXI 12's Audrey Bisk introduced us to the North Carolina family last year and shares their heartwarming update. So what's your last name now? Lutabazi. Lutabazi. <laughs> what was supposed to be just a few months of providing care to eight-year-old Isabella and seven-year-old Luke became yeah. much more than that. Peter Mutabazi's passion is to reunite children in foster care with their biological parents. But these siblings' parental rights were terminated. So for the kids, I think, you know, being with me for three years, they've always said, when can we have your last name? When can you adopt an you know, adopters? I'm like, well, your goal is to go back home, you know. But this time, I think I knew I can say, hey, by the way, I'm going to be your dad forever. And they were so, so excited. Thankful and hope. And I think they told everyone at school, everyone they met, hey, we're going to be adopted. And it was just a joy to see them really excited about, you know, what life was going to be. A forever home together. Peter knew how important it was to eliminate possible trauma the kids would face being separated one day. So for me, it's really been a joy to be there for them, you know, and care for them as a unit, to care for them as brother and sister. So you want to tell me one more feeling about knowing that you have your forever home? It, it feels great. <laughs> Isabella and Luke also have a forever big brother, Anthony Mutabazi, who Peter adopted years ago. Being at that age and having to worry about where your next home is going to be instead of being able to live your life as a kid. Anthony knows that feeling firsthand, abandoned at age 11. It is one of the worst things that someone can experience because that takes away from their childhood and it doesn't let them grow as a person. The outcome of Anthony's life could have been very different if Peter didn't adopt him. Their story now reaching hundreds of thousands of people. Peter uses social media as a platform. But also pull the curtain of like, hey, here's how I do it as a single dad. To give hope to those who want to be parents to say, hey, you can do it. If I can do it, you can truly do it as well. The Mutabazi story even gaining national attention. If you can help out, help out because there's so many kids out there that age out of the system and end up homeless without a clue as to how the world works, how to pay bills, how to do any of that, and they need somebody there. I come from Africa, we believe in it takes a village to raise a child, you know, but it also plays here in the United States, in our community. It is our job as people of North Carolina to be one village and be there for our kids. What a story. Right. Audrey Visk reporting coverage of her story last year showing Peter's life growing up on the streets of Uganda can be found on our website right now. He told Audrey he plans to continue opening his home to children in foster care for many years to come. And you can learn more about the adoption process as well as the children looking for forever homes right here in the triad. Just watch A Place to Call Home Thursdays during WXI 12 News at 6.